loved. Wherever you are and whatever your station, be you blue collar or white collar or no collar, listen. Black Jesuses and steel mills and stockyards, black geniuses sorting and carrying mail, black Madonnas residing heavenwise. Black runners to the corner pub, young black scrawlers on ghetto walls, listen. All of you beautiful and black beloved, I want to talk to you about you and me and us, about our black selves, a glory people. I wish to speak of image, a black image. I wish to speak of beauty, a black beauty, to show you how beautiful our black people are. I want to smash your mirror reflecting alien vision, an image not akin to you, which causes you to reject your own very best and beautiful selves. I want to make you proud of your satin ebony skin and the wiry crispness of your strong black hair or the round flaring of your nostrils or the expressive fullness of your lips or the large dark pools that are your eyes and the lisp grace of your athletic bodies. I want you to be aware of the gifts of black folk to this, the new world, and the entire world. Oh, of how you, beautiful and black, beloved, gave profound meaning to the word religion, enriched a barren land with music, and rhythm, set unmatched model for generosity, kindness, discipline, endurance, hope, and self-control, courage, bravery, and compassion. I want you to know these things about yourselves, about us to truly know them and believe them. To spread this word to all black sisters and brothers. To counter the hateful racist propaganda with these truths to imbue your black generations. And above all, my beautiful, black, and beloved, to cleave together in unity, all as part of a whole, and to love each other and work together so that our black people may become, as Du Bois, the sage said, our own very